What do volcanoes bring to people's lives? This is Antigua, Guatemala, Guatemala's former capital. There are three active volcanoes near the city, including the Fuego volcano. Fuego means fire in English. Earlier this year, it spewed columns of ash 5,000 meters above sea level. Residents here take pride in their well-preserved Spanish Baroque monuments, but they also express concern over possible suffocation each time the volcano loses its temper. Sabemos que el volcán fuego así como puede disminuir su actividad en cualquier momento podría darse un repunte y con esto generar algún tipo también de alarma en la población. One way to survive is by pitting a handkerchief or a piece of cloth over your mouth and hurrying home. The Latin American country of Chile reacts more nimbly each time the Calbuco volcano erupts. The volcano is about 900 kilometers south of the capital, Santiago. Masks are distributed to residents by the government. However, when Calbuco roars its fiercest level, a mask isn't enough. Evacuations are needed instead. Calbuco is one of over 90 active volcanoes in Chile. It's kept President Michel Bachelet busy on more than one occasion. Geographical peace is a luxury she can only dream about. However, there's an adorable side to these spewing monsters. Puebla, a central state in Mexico, boasts the smallest volcano in the world. Es el más pequeño del mundo porque tiene una altura del punto de allá afuera de la superficie a la cima del volcán de 13 metros. When the Mexicans were fighting French colonialists in 1862, the almost 1,000-year-old Guaxomate volcano was where Mexican troops stored weapons in underground tunnels. Nowadays, in unfathomable silence, the small volcano draws thousands of local and foreign tourists every year. They believe that their wishes can come true by merely touching its cold body.